So um, the question is, what is <clears throat> an APA style? Um, this is an abbreviation of uh, the American Psychological Association, and which is the most commonly used format for manuscripts in the social and behavioral sciences, such as uh, business, economics, psychology, and uh, nursing, etc. Um, APA format provides writers with a format for cross-referencing their sources from their parenthetical references to their reference page. This cross-referencing system allows readers to locate the publication um, information of source material. And of course, this is of great value for researchers who may want to locate uh, your sources for their own research projects. And uh, as you know, the proper use of APA style also shows the, credibil the credibility of writers, uh, such as uh, such writers show accountability to their source material. And most importantly, uh, the use of APA style can um, protect you from plagiarism, uh, as I indicated earlier. Uh, plagiarism means the purposeful or accidental use of source material by other writers without giving um, appropriate credit. This slide introduces the basics of APA stylistics related to the point of view on voice in an APA paper, um, um, which encourages uh, writers to use personal pronouns and an uh, active voice as in the following examples. Um, the point of view on voice here, presented by the use of personal pronouns, uh, we say we conducted an experiment, and instead of saying the authors conducted an experiment. And also, the active voice, rather than the passive voice, is recommended in this case. Um, we should say we asked participants, uh, participants questions instead of saying the participants have been uh, asked questions by the uh, researchers. So please, you should regulate the point of view on base of your um, research paper as demanded by a PA citation. In terms of language, um, this slide explains the, uh, the language qualities the APA recommends for uh, academic papers. Um, as, you, as, as you can see here, language in an um, APA paper should be clear, concise, and plain. Clarity and conciseness are the major concerns when reporting research in APA. It's not easy to balance clarity, which requires accuracy, and conciseness, which requires packing information. To achieve the clarity, a writer should avoid vague wording and be specific in descriptions and explanations. And uh, to achieve uh, con uh, conciseness, a writer should condense information, should provide accurate information. And because APA uh, formatting is widely used in isolated papers, the language of APA Style is plain and simple, and should be plain and simple, of course. A writer, in this case, should avoid using metaphors and also minimize the use of figurative language, uh, which is typical for the creative writing. This slide introduces two uh, most commonly used uh, genres in APA format the literature review and the experimental report, also known as the research article. So here um, you choose one types of APA papers, uh, whether it is literature review or exper experimental research. Uh, uh, research. Um, as you can see, the literature review here um, is, is the summary of what the scientific literature in the discipline field says about the topic of research, of course. And um, um, is the genre students likely encounter in their uh, uh, academic studies? So uh, the literature review paper includes the uh, title page, 
introduction and list of references. These are the three building foundations on which the literature review paper is based. Well, the other type of APA papers is the experimental report. Uh, the experimental report or research article, sometimes called, provides an account of conducted research. This genre includes the title page, abstract, introduction, which is basically the gist for the reports, the, for the reporter's study, method, results, discussion, multiple experiments, if you conduct more than one, and uh, also includes references and appendices, uh, which is, um, I, I guess it's optional. So the experimental report often contains tables and figures, in, in this case, uh, and of course we will see the tables and figures in the end of this um, uh, presentation. If your um, APA paper is, uh, does not take any type of the uh, above mentioned ones, so you should either follow the general format you already know, or consult the structure, or consult the APA publication manual, you know? Um, this slide uh, presents the general format of an APA uh, formatted paper. Um, the essay should be typed and double spaced. These are the characteristic features of the general APA formatting and uh, the general framework. And also it should have one margins um, on all sides of the, uh, of the let's say, of the uh, word processing documents. Um, uh, the document uh, also should um, should be set to the times in Roman as a, a font type in 10 or 12 uh, PT, mean the size of the font. So the document should include a page header indicating a short title of the essay and a page number in the upper right hand of every page, including the title page. Okay. Um, so here we have an example. This is the general APA format for every, um, so this slide presents the general format of APA style formatted paper. And as I indicated in this previous um, slide, that should be typed double spaced and so on. Um, so the page header, as indicated in the upper left hand corner, should be the title and should be all capitalized. Okay. And the page number in the, uh, should be placed in the upper right, as you, as you can see here. So this is the general formatting. One of the significant things about the APA formatting is the, the general structure that includes full major sections. And um, we have the, the title page, the abstract page, the main body page, or the essay itself, the article itself, and the reference list. An abstract page and a list of references are titled as abstract and references, respectively. So it's important to remind you that each page should have a page header with a shortened version of the title and, um, and page number. So this title page uh, um, shows um, a visual example, right, for the proper placement of the, of the page header and a shortened version of the title. So here you should type the page header flash left with the page number flash right, as indicated just at the uh, top of this uh, sheet of paper. Okay? And um, you should type the page header flash left with the page number, as I said, flash right including words running head immediately before you shorten title. So you should also uh, type the complete title in the upper half of the page and it should be centered here, as you can see. Below the title, you should uh, write your name and your university or your affiliation. For example, you say um, University of Basra, Department of English, College of Arts, and you may include information extra information like 
supervisor, the name of supervisor or year, and so on. So this is the, uh, the general formatting of the title page. Let's move to the abstract page. In this slide, uh, we'll provide a visual example of an abstract page which consists of um, a page header or heading, abstract as you can see, and a brief summary here, the big block, which consists of um, um, a, a brief summary of the paper accurately presenting its content. Um, you should type the abstract, the heading of the abstract in the center at the top of the page and below you should type the paragraph of the proper summary which should be basically between 150 and 250 or sometimes 300 words depends on the um, on the on the uh, on, on the study in, in under in investigation all right and this should go in one block without any separation without any uh, paragraphing let's say without in in indentation um, uh, as you may know, as, uh, and also I talked about the major content of the abstract, the abstract should contain the research topic, research questions, uh, participants, methods, results, data analysis, and conclusions. It may also include possible implications of your research, recommendations for future research policy, and um, many other things, in fact, and uh, may include uh, keywords in this case. Now we move to the main body. And this slide, or this slide provides the basic reminders about formatting the text. So we have many things. Uh, first of all, you should make sure that the first text page is page number three. Page number one is a title page. Page number two is an abstract page. This means that the uh, title page should be paginated, should be given number one, for example, page number one. The abstract page should be also paginated. You should at number two and so on and so forth. Start with typing the essay title centered at the top of the page. Type the text double space with all sections following each other without a break. Don't use a white space between paragraphs. Um, number four, create parenthetical and text citations to identify the sources used in the paper. And finally, you should format tables and figures. So the Following a slide, introduce APA formatting of reference, uh, references, in-text citations, and uh, tables and figures. So here we'll talk about, and this, um, this slide explains the format and purpose of, of, of a reference page. Um, Um, so it, it should be stressed that each source um, referenced within the paper, I mean, when you do in-text citation, should also appear on the, on the reference page, which appears at the end of the paper. So to, to create a reference page, you should uh, do the following. Number one, you can center the heading um, references at the top of the page. And you should uh, please don't bold, bold it, right? The second thing you do is to double space reference entries, as you can see here. You should uh, flush left, flush left the first line of the entry and indent subsequent lines, as you can see. So uh, it's a characteristic feature, it's very easy. Just you go, uh, just a click on the right uh, of your mouse, right click on the mouse and then you go to, um, uh, exactly indentation, then choose hanging in the in the special box. Later, you should order uh, all entries alphabetically by the author's uh, surnames or the last names. If a source is, is, is anonymous, use the, uh, its title as an author's uh, surname. That's, uh, I mean, um, it's so easy to, to follow. Uh, one important note is that unlike MLA, APA citation in uh, APA style is only interested in what they uh, call recoverable data. That's data which other people can find. For example, personal communications such as letters, memos, emails, interviews, and telephone calls and conversations should not be included in the reference list since they are not recoverable by other researchers. So any kind of communication should not be included 
in the reference entry, but it should be mentioned in text citations. This slide um, provides basic rules related to creating reference entries. As you can see, um, you should follow this strategy by inverting author's names. Last name should come first, then followed by initials. You should capitalize the first letter of the first word of a title and a subtitle. And um, as, as you can see, just you um, capitalize the first letter of the first word of the title and the first what word, uh, the first letter of the, uh, of the first word of the what of the subtitle, as you can see. So the first word after a colon or a dash in the title and the proper ones. Do not capitalize the first letter of the second word in a, hyper, an, an, a hyphenated compound word. So this is how we create references. I mean, we are still with the uh, basic things about uh, creating reference entries. <clears throat> you should capitalize all major words in journal article in, in, in journal titles. If you have an article in journal, you should capitalize the major words. You should not capitalize, for example, um, <clears throat> prepositions or connectors. You don't need to. You don't have to do this. You should uh, italicize titles of longer works, like books and journals. Don't italicize, underline, or put quotes around the titles of shorter works, such as journal articles or essays in edited collections. Right? Just like you, when you examine this example, when we, uh, <clears throat> when we see the example. Here we have friendships through I am Colin examining the relationship between instant messaging and intimacy. This is what, as you can see here, we do not italicize, underline, or put any quotes around this title. This is short, this is short work. This is general article, right? But you should capitalize all major words in this journal title, Journal of Computer Mediated Communication. So this is how it goes in APA formatting. Um, APA is a complex system of citation that can be time consuming to learn and difficult to recall when needed. So to help you handle the requirements of APA format, uh, this slide will introduce a strategy of surviving APA style. So it should be stressed the importance of correct identification of a type of source. Is it an article from a newspaper or from a scholarly journal? hard copy or electronic version? Is it a kind of book? Is it a kind of web page? Is it a film? What kind of thing? I need to handle these things in fact. So you should go easily to find a sample citation for this type of source you are looking for. You um, need to go uh, to OWL APA guide through this following link and you'll uh, have some example to generate some entries that um, are generated alphabetically, okay? And also I'd like to uh, remind you that there are many electronic library databases that have a citation feature that, um, that can generate different reference list entries, uh, like the word, uh, the word document. The word document can um, uh, process your um, reference list entry. Um, this slide explains the basics of in-text citations. In-text citations help establish credibility of the writer, show respect to someone else's intellectual property, and here avoiding um, plagiarism. More practically, in-text citations help readers locate the cited source in the reference page. Thus keep the in-text citation brief and make sure that the information provided in the body of the paper should be just enough 
so that a reader could easily cross-reference the citation with its matching entry on the reference page. As an example, the body of the paper on the in-text citation together contains the author's name on the year of publication. And uh, this is very much important thing to remember, please. Whenever you use any source, you should provide parentheses whenever, wherever possible, right? By writing the author's name on the date of publication, whether in the body or in, in let, let's say, in, in, when you do in text citations, right? For quotations and close, and close paraphrases, you should provide the author's name, date of publication, and a page number as well. As the example below shows, that uh, the writer Lahiri, right? Lahiri, 2002. I use this, for example, twice. It's just an example. It's taken from one of the sources, right? And it's it's uh, used originally by uh, the uh, uh, by Purdue Online Online Writing Lab. So uh, this in this first. In text citation, the author should be mentioned here, followed by the year. While in the second one, the same author has been mentioned with the same year, but with the, with the page, with the page number. So what's the difference? What makes us um, use this and we don't use that? All right? So, I will answer this question when I talk about this uh, slide. So, when we, when we quote, when we use quotations, you should introduce your quotation with a signal phrase. Or you should also include the author's name, year of application, and page number. So, page numbers are all the time needed when you um, quote directly from a reference, especially when it's preceded or followed by. Um, quotation, let's say quotation marks or inverted, as you can see here, quotation marks. So the page number is necessary here, okay? So this is called the direct reference. And also you need to keep the citation brief. You don't um, need to repeat the information. You don't have to, okay? For example, Garuth 1996 has stated that a traumatic response frequently entails a, then a quotation, a short quotation starts. As you can see, we have here quotation marks included. So this indicates that we need to place a page number. You see? Or a traumatic response entails a delayed uncontrolled, and so on and so forth. When you um, like, when you like to include the author's name in, in parentheses, between parentheses. So in this case, you need to include both the name, the year, and the page number. So you have two different, actually, citation styles used for quotations, you see? 